Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you exactly how to set up a professional email for your business in Namecheap. So as you can see here, there are basically two ways you can set up a professional email for your business in Namecheap. We have the private email and we have the cPanel email. The basic difference between the two is that the, with the private email, you have to buy the uh, hosting for those emails separately. And they are usually hosted by mail companies and they work in connection with your hosting, uh, your web hosting company provider, okay? Then with the cPanel email, that one, you, it is the email is connected to the hosting of your website. So the files are stored in your website and that one, you don't even need to buy the uh, hosting for those emails. You just buy, uh, when you buy your website hosting, uh, you will be able to create those emails for free. And those ones are normally the redirect email. So now uh, what you need to basically do is to, um come and then you register an account with namecheap if you don't have an account you can just sign up in your account with namecheap and if you already have an account then i will advise you to log in so i'm going to log in and then take you through a step-by-step -step process of how uh, we can just do this so as you can see here uh, i've already logged into my um namecheap dashboard so when you log into namecheap for uh, as an example um, you come here, you will see, um, you will see email. Okay. So for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to take you through the redirect type. Okay. I'm going to take you through the option where you're going to, um, buy the emails, the hosting for those emails separately. Okay. Yeah. Before I continue, I want to show you if we were going to do a redirect type of email, would have just, um, come to the domain list. Okay. Um, come and click on manage and then we scroll down. As you can see, we have redirect. So that one, we are not going to pay. We will just set up, um, uh, an email that will be, it will be able to set up an email and redirect it to one Gmail account, one centralized Gmail account where we can receive all the messages and reply back and to go to the professional, um, uh, email, but you can reply the messages from your Gmail ad, uh, account, but we're not going to do that type. That one is free. Yeah. Uh, the reason why some people don't uh, particularly uh, like that one is that there is less security related to that one. And then the, the options available are fewer um, with that one as compared to just buying a, a whole email package. So I'm going to go with the second option or the option where I'm going to buy the email package itself and set everything for you. So now that one, you will have to um, come to the email at the top. You will see business email, so you click on it. Okay. Now there are options. So we have about three packages. Um, this one for me, uh, you will have one mailbox included. That's one email. This one, we have three emails. This one, five emails. These are the storage specifications and others. It depends on what your budget is. You can go for any of them. But normally, with the company I'm going to do, uh, we would need more than, at least we need up to five emails or more. So I will need to go for the ultimate one. Then, after you click on it, what you need to do is to choose whether you are going you are going to purchase a new domain or you are using your already existed domain. So you can choose this one. And then when you choose this one, you will be asked to select uh, the domain. So I already have a domain. I can just select this one continue and make payment now i am not going to do that part because i have already purchased uh, my email package so i don't need to do that one okay so if you have supposed to just select the domain if you are going to do new one to if you're going to buy a new domain too you can select then you continue and you make payment so that's it so after making payment um let me just go back okay so i'm coming back to my dashboard after making payment uh, you come back to your dashboard, just like what you're seeing here. Then you go to domain list. And then you will see a list of the domains you have registered. So this is the one I registered. So you will see manage. So you click on the manage. Now, when you click on the manage, uh, you come to products. Okay. So you will see ultimate uh, email so the email package that I bought which is the ultimate package that's it that is showing you will see the ultimate email package and then you will see login to webmail and you also see manage 
Okay, so click on the manage. When you click on the manage, you will see this particular message, which says that you are almost set to be able to activate your private email subscription to receive your mail and to create mailboxes. You must first set up these important DNS records from the table below. You can find a little help to do this in our handy step-by-step -step guide. Once completed, please allow up to four hours for the changes to take effect. So this is what they are saying. Now, they have a step-by-step -step guide here, but the only problem with it is that um, it's not a video. They are just going to be steps that are in an article and it's difficult to follow it and do it. So stay tuned here. I'm going to take you through that step-by-step -step process where you can see my screen. I'll put the values and I click and continue and you will follow me to the end to get it done. So you will come back to your domain list. And then click on manage. And then scroll down to the name service. You see Namecheap web hosting DNS. You have to change this one to Namecheap basic DNS in order to be able to uh, do set up your private email. If you don't do this, the setup process I'm indicating or the tutorial that I am going to indicate, you cannot follow it. Okay, so you choose Namecheap because if you, if it is Namecheap web hosting, then the setup, the process or the procedures are different from the basic. So this one you have to follow with Namecheap basic DNS. So you click on that and then you click here to save it. Now, once you are done with that, okay, once you are done with that, you have to come to the top and then you click on advanced, the advanced DNS. So once you are under advanced DNS settings, scroll down to the part that says mail settings. So on the mail settings, you choose, you click on this and then you choose custom MX. So when you choose M custom MS, you see that they've already given some space for us to fill in the information that we had earlier. So we have the MX record, the type is MX record, we have host, and then the value, the priority, and then TTL. So when you come here, um, so when you come back, you can see that the record type is what MX. So that is the record type, which is MX. The host, so the host, you, the host is what at, so you come and put the R symbol. Um, then we have value. So you come and copy the value. Come and paste it here. Then we have the priority. The priority is 10. So you come and paste the 10 here. And for this one, leave it as automatic. Go on save all changes then you can see that you have an option to add to add a new record so you click on add and then we go back and then the second one we copy the add symbol again so put the add symbol so the value this is it Then the priority again is 10. Then here again, we have to leave it as what? Automatic. So again, we click on save all changes. Okay. So the next one, we have to go to the TXT record, which is the text record. Here, you copy the value for the txt record you copy it you come back here so when you come back here for the txt record you don't add it here you have to scroll up to the top so when you get to the top you will see under host record so and we have to add it under the host record and under the host record um as you can see it, it says no records found 
Before I continue, I have a powerful book called Achieving Your Greatest Dreams. It is a book in the description of this video or in the comment section. It's a book on how to achieve your most ambitious goals and dreams, how to become the best version of yourself, how to break your mental barriers, how to move from where you are to where you really want to be in life. It's a book that will help you to earn passive income and to become financially independent. And it's indeed a powerful book that will have, it, it has so many stories that you will read and go through to know that whatever you're going through in life is nothing. Some have gone through more than that and have achieved more than what you are looking for. So also remember to follow the WhatsApp or Telegram link to contact us for assistance if you have any problem, but know that we charge to do that. So you click on add record, new record, then you scroll down, okay? Um, you see TXT record, okay? So um, the host, so you put it at, then the value is this, and then this one is what? Um, the TTA, leave it as automatic, because this one, uh, we don't have a priority for it. So again, you click on the check mark or click on save all changes, and it's, it's all the same. So you can just click on save all changes. Okay, so the changes have been saved. Now we have saved all our records, okay? Um, the first two, we have done it, that's the MX record, and we've also done the TXT record. So once we are done with the settings, we can now come and click on create mailbox now. So you click on create mailbox now, and then you'll be asked of the mailbox name and it goes with your website. So for example, this one, um, I want to put something like this. It's automatically at. So here, confirm the password. You put the password and confirm it and then choose your gigabyte storage. So for example, um, I have 75 gigabyte for, for um, five emails. So I think when you divide 75 by five, that should be 15. So I will just give this one 15. Then you now click on save changes. So it says success. Private mailbox, this, this, this has been set up. Yeah, it has been set up successfully. <coughs> Now you come back here and you scroll down at the bottom, you will see, it will say one of five mailboxes in use. And then you will see the email. You will see the status, the aliases, zero of 10,000, uh, uh, zero of 100,000, the email storage, which is 15 gigabyte. And then you will see edit storage. There's a way to increase the storage if you are actually finishing up your storage. So you click on the right here, and then you will see manage aliases, change password, turn off, remove, open web mail, okay? So we are opening the web mail. So when you click on open web mail, so it brings you here. You put the email and you also put a password. You can keep, you can uh, click on the keep me logged in. And then you click on login. So as you can see, it is logged in successfully. So you see what is new in this version, improve, connect your device, this, this, this. Just click on close. Welcome to private email start tour. Um, you're giving you all the apps in one place, the calendar, the mail, um, other things that you may need, personal, personal settings, your personal data can be changed in the account drop down menu and then all that. Okay, so we finish or you can even close it. It's not a must to I'll go through it. So we have logged into our mail. And as you can see, it looks like how the inbox of an email looks like. You can send a message. So I want to send a message for you to see how it is. Let's see whether our email is working or not. So we click on compose. So as you can see, I'm just saying, hi, this is a test. And so it's from this and it's being sent to my email, my Hi. personal email, okay? So I'll send it. So let me see. I, came, I check on my inbox, it's not showing. Then I went to um, my spam folder 
And then as you can see, it comes. It was just, as you can see, an empty message with just the heading. The, the subject is, this is a test. I didn't even send a content in that email. Yes, so it has come. So I want to send back, um, okay, noted. Send it back. Okay, so I just came back to my inbox and as you can see, the response I gave is showing. So it has just come back to the email, okay, noted. They've indicated they did and everything. So as you can see, it is working. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell and like this video for other more powerful videos. I also have a powerful book called Achieving Your Greatest Dreams in the description of this video. In my subsequent videos, I'll also do a video on how to set up business email, the one that is the redirect type. I also do a video on that. Remember to subscribe, turn on the notification bell and like this video. Thank you once again and see you in the next video.